Hello, this is Steve Warshaw from recordpricebreakout.com and today I wanted to show you a tool that I am developing to help manage the virtual portfolio that I'm starting on our website um, and that I actually plan on giving away to my blog readers. So um, right now it's, it's, it's based in an Excel spreadsheet and uh, you can see that it's designed to manage um, open and close positions and the various data around that for a stock portfolio. So you can see you have like an entry date, the stock symbol, the position type, the number of shares, etc, etc. Um, and there are a few features that I've built in that are automatic that are kind of cool. Um, one is, is that when you enter a new symbol, um, I am using the MSN uh, stock quote plugin for Excel and it creates a smart tag which is cool because what you can do then is click on its stock quote or company report or or any of these things and it will actually take you directly to the right page on MSN for that particular symbol that you were looking up. Okay, so then um, I just wanted to show you some of the unique features that I'm building into this particular um, spreadsheet and by no means are they done but let's take a look at what I have so far so the first thing is you're gonna need to be able to add new stocks to the portfolio so what I have is on this instructions page now when I well, before I send this out I'll have a nice set of instructions typed up in this area but for now since I'm the only one using it I haven't typed them up and uh, the first thing you need to do is click on this button add new stock so when I do that it's going to create a blank row at the top of the portfolio and we're going to enter in today's date, so it's 3-3. And let's pick a symbol. We're going to pick Goldman Sachs. And you'll see, I'm going to scroll over here, that as soon as I type that in, that it will automatically pull down the current price for Goldman Sachs. Now, um, one of the features that I've built into this thing, this tool is it actually tracks the, the based on the amount of initial cash and the results of your investing, um, the value of your portfolio, and then will consider the risk to your portfolio of the trade that you're making based on um, the position type, the size of the position, the entry price, and the stop that, uh, that, that you set against it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go, let's say because the market is so bad right now, we're going to go short on Goldman Sachs and we're going to pick obviously let's just use the current price um, as as the trade price and let's say I'm going to set an arbitrary stop and since this is a short it's going to be above that number let's say is 8677 okay so what we're going to do here now is we're going to play with the position size to either reach a, the um, total cost and that's how I manage my positions is based on total cost this is a fifty thousand dollar port starting portfolio so I try to make a full position be a total cost of ten thousand um, dollars and then that gives you the ability to you know buy quarter half three quarter and full positions fairly easily um, it's for educational purposes um, and I try to keep it so that the total risk based on the stop and the number of shares in the price is less than two percent so how do you calculate that well you enter in your entry price you enter your your stop and then you start playing around with the position size so let's say uh... we do fifty shares so fifty shares of goldman right now um, is going to place four thousand one hundred eighteen dollars and fifty cents into our account that's a, sh that's a short trade so that's why that works uh, now none of this does not uh, consider any type of brokerage free fees or margin interests it does calculate uh, the margin requirements so that I cannot trade um, basically illegally within the portfolio um, so it looks like we can crank this up some more let's say fifty five shares okay sixty shares and that should put us right on about five thousand dollars you see it's a half of a percent risk against the portfolio that's a nice thing to be able to have you can really manage your position sizes fairly well there um, so you know let's say that that today we're going to enter in a half of a position or five thousand dollars worth of goldman we're introducing five point five one percent risk and then there are a few other fields that you have to fill out manually so what i'm going to do is I'm going to um, set a target. Now your target is going to be below 
uh, your entry price, let's say it's $78, that's really just for you to manage your trade. You're going to look at that 78 and you're going to watch the price of Goldman and the chart and everything else that, that you would normally follow and use that value to determine um, when you should get out, when you should take your profits. Um, and then you can see that it also has the current value of the trade, uh, the total tr um, change from the day that you opened it. And I'm going to scroll over some more here. You'll see uh, when you close the stock, uh, when you close the trade, I, I apologize, uh, you'll enter in the price at which you closed it. And when you do that, let's say we actually get to 78, you'll see that'll be a $262 profit. You'll have to type in the date when you do that manually. Um, and it will calculate all of those things for you. Um, these other fields, which I am actually going to be using for for future uh, features, uh, this margin maintenance and all, actually this stuff should be calculated. So let's make sure it does get calculated. Uh, here we go. Okay, um, and uh, we will uh, make sure that all that is working. Uh, but anyhow, all this stuff will be used for future for uh, features that are coming in the future. So you can see it's pretty easy to add a stock to the portfolio, and it does a really good job of calculating the risk against your portfolio. F portfolio, and it also does, and this is just the data tab, and there's a whole bunch of numbers in here, but you'll see it actually keeps track of all the different values that are necessary to manage your, your account. Um, so, there's one more feature that I'm working on developing, and I'm going to click on this charts page here, and what I want this to do is to be a highly detailed reporting system as well, so you can look at, okay, on the 2nd of March, we made a little over $600. On the 3rd of March, we made almost $500 in the portfolio. And you can see for each day which stock you know gained or lost. Um, and you'll start to see that work out. Um, and I want to be able to have you know charts of uh, the, the stocks over time and a, you know, just a bunch of other data that you'll be able to quickly look at visually. So that is the tool for now. Uh, I hope you find it interesting and I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the blog for you to be able to use. Take care.